Hello. Just testing if someone can hear me. <laughs> Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Good. Thank you. Is that Faisal? Uh, yes, that's person. Oh, I recognize your voice. I didn't know if it was you or not. <laughs> how are you? Uh, I'm good. Good. Thank you. How are you? Yeah, good. Hope everything's going well. Uh, yes, yes. It's all, some busy all days good. and some busy days to come. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, just setting up a couple of few more things. No worries. I might just start testing my slides. Oh, yeah, sure. Is that, is that okay? Yep. Yep, I can see your screen. All looks all right. good. I'll put my camera on. <laughs> uh, yep, hi. Yeah, good, good. So, all good, Elizabeth. Thanks for joining us today. I'll just, uh, we'll kick off in next six minutes, six to seven minutes from now. No worries. We, yeah, we can wait a bit. Yeah, I think I'm a bit early anyway. <laughs> no worries. I'll, I'll put myself on mute and I'll yeah. reconnect. Oh, good. Five minutes. Thank you. I'll just go off camera as well for a bit. Yep. Yep. Thank you.
Uh, sorry, Elizabeth, to keep you waiting. Let's just uh, there is a little bit of a technical delay from our side. So just trying to sort out that. No worries. All good. All right, so I think so. Oh, we can kick off now. Thanks for joining us today, Elizabeth, all the way from Australia. Thank you so much, Faisal. Thank you, everyone, for joining today. I'm, um, I'm delighted to be here. So, yeah, my name is Elizabeth. 
I work for Microsoft as a community program manager and I look after technical leaders within our community and support them in programs such as the MVP award program or the regional director uh, program. And yeah, I'm so excited to uh, thank you for the invitation to speak today at the BizApps Udu Hindi Bootcamp organized by the Pakistan User Group. Thank you, Faisal, for, for leading um, today and the next few days and yesterday, I believe, um, this awesome event. So um, just with some background, I'm, I'm not so much a technical person um, and we have a great lineup of speakers um, that will give you the tools and techniques to, um, to really be knowledgeable in Microsoft's business platforms. Today, I'm going to be reflecting on my background in marketing and community engagement um, to really sort of um, empower you about personal brand. And the title of this session is Tell the World Who You Are, Define and Communicate Your Personal Brand. And I'll be going through some frameworks and some tips on how you can really leverage your brand. And maybe um, it could help you accelerate in your, in your career or get to goals that you really want to achieve or, or maybe open up doors that you didn't know were possible. So before we begin, um, I just wanted to just uh, flag, I, there was this new tip that I learned the other day and I thought it was really cool because I know we're a diverse community. Um, but if you want to um, have the ability to translate my slides in your local language, you can do so. Um, just by going to the um, Eclipsis at the bottom there and um, selecting um, your language of choice. So I thought that was a really cool feature of Microsoft Teams. Obviously, there's also the translation that you can turn on as well, the transcription. So personal brand, um, you know, the power of personal brand, I feel like it's super important um, because essentially your brand is an asset that you own. And ultimately, your brand is how people perceive you. And um, I think that's really important because as we go through our career or, um, yeah, have goals in our lives, um, your brand can really help shape um, how you get there. Um, and it, it's an intentional thing as well, but also intentional. Um, so believe it or not, we, yeah, we all have a personal brand right now. And your brand, it, it's how your friends perceive you, your family, your sporting clubs, even your workplace. And I think it's really important that we nurture that and um, we, we do become intentional in how we shape other people's perceptions of, of us. Um, so I think it's really cool that um, yeah, we've got this opportunity to, to create opportunities for ourselves by leveraging our brand. So I remember um, being at school, uh, I was a student and I remember not realizing the importance of, of investing in myself and, and in my personal brand. And, and later I'll go through some tips on why personal brand is important. But before I do so, just to like kick some things off, um, here are some questions that I want you to, to think about. So um, personal brands are not just related to celebrities, but you know, when you see Oprah Winfrey, you might think of someone who's kind hearted, who cares, who's really aligned to really great causes. Um, our next celebrity, when we think of Elon Musk, we might think of, you know, a leader in technology, maybe the CEO of Twitter now. Um, but yeah, personal brand is not limited to these celebrities or to any celebrity. And I really want you to think about what do you want to be known for? You know, maybe you want to be an expert in Dynamics 365 or you want to be... Um, the next speaker of, of this user group, or you want to be an MVP, or you want to get a new job or um, have a dream job of, of where you want to get to in five to 10 years time. So yeah, leveraging your personal brand um, is, is so important and it can help you to get there. So there's a famous online marketer called Neil Patel. And um, if you just want tips on like marketing advice or how to present your personal brand, Neil is fantastic. So you can just Google him. But he has a really great quote um, that I want to share with you. And I will read this out loud. Um, but it's essentially going to be our framework for um, the tips that I provide you. And I'll be adding a few of my own in there. But 
basically, you know, what is personal brand? It's the process of intentionally creating and influencing public perception of an individual. And this is done by positioning them as an authority in an industry or differentiating them from the competition and increasing their reputation. So yeah, this is kind of my um, checklist, I guess that will give our framework for today's session on, on how you can really define and communicate your brand and, and tell the world who you are. All right, so here are, oh, sorry, I've just skipped slides. Let me go back. Okay, so as I said before, you know, I was a student, I remember um, back at college and I was, um, you know, trying to land my dream job. And once I did land my dream job and I started off in not-for-profit and I was a fundraiser um, and I was really trying to transition into um, a, a similar a role, but into a different industry. And um, I realized um, I needed to um, really change how I was pitching myself to potential employees. So brand is super important. Um, and I think it's something that we all should be mindful of when we're developing um, ourselves. Um, by investing in your personal brand or, or just, um, you know, creating your personal brand and working on it, you can really establish yourself as an expert. Um, you can improve the chances of getting new business or getting that promotion for that dream job. And another benefit of personal brand is it builds trust and trust is so important if you want to be, um, you know, take on new clients or, or get that dream job. But it shows that you're um, committed and um, you're really respected by your your community leaders, your, your community, um, and you're seen as a leader in your community as well. So that trust is really important. So here are my tips on how I think um, you can define and communicate your personal brand. So tip number one is really looking at determining your goals or your purpose. So what do you want to achieve? Do you want to get a new job? Do you want to position yourself as a community leader? Do you want to be known as a subject matter expert? Um, how do you envision where you want to be? Maybe in five to 10 years time, you, you might have a goal of where you want to be. Um, so by determining your goals, you could, um, I guess that can be your North Star of, you know, what steps you're going to be taking next. And your goals can be flexible as well. They, they might change over time. And that's the beauty of personal brand because it can evolve as well. Um, so yeah, really, um, really sort of um, defining where you want to be. And, and I strongly believe it should really excite you as well. Um, and it's so important, and you might hear me say this word many times, but being authentic is also really important about, um, yeah, going on that journey as well and, and going to where you want to get to. So the next tip for me is really defining your audience. So what does your audience look like? You know, um, who is the community that you really want to tap into and, and build that reputation with, right? So I think, yeah, understanding will um, help you know how to engage with your audience. It could be recruiters. That could be your audience. It could be, um, I know I look, work a lot with MVPs um, and I'll go through that in a moment, but our MVPs are techni uh, technical leaders. And so they might be, um, their audiences um, might be offline or online. Um, and they might absorb content in different ways. It could be on YouTube. It could be in a blog. Um, so yeah, define where your, your, or who your audiences are, and that will help you sort of um, take the next steps in looking at, you know, what type of, how do I have to engage with them? So knowing your audience is really important. So tip number three is to understand current community leaders. Now, I guess I'm putting on my marketing hat because that's my that's where I've been educated in. Theoretically, um, in marketing, we call that what's your competition look like? Um, but in a sort of a, a community sense and in a career development sense, it's really looking at other people within your your industry and looking at your peers and um, seeing what they're doing. 
And um, sometimes there's a saying that I've heard and it says, imitation is the best form of flattery. Um, so sometimes it's really admiring what other people are doing and um, they could inspire you um, to see, you know, what steps you need to take to see where you need to get to. Um, so yeah, looking at um, who's around you, but by looking at who's around you and, and looking at what they're doing, it could also inspire you to realize what are the gaps in in the um, in the market as well, and how can you differentiate yourself from the competition or from other community leaders, and and how can you add value to your community um, or or your network? Um, and going back to Neil Patel's definition, he talks about differentiating yourself from the competition. So that's why I believe understanding who um, is in your network and understanding who the other leaders are in your industry is also super important. So tip number four for me is identify where you can make an impact. And so by understanding your competition, you'll know where the gaps are, as I previously mentioned, and you can identify where you can make a positive impact and really, really bring value to that community or, um, you know, as a subject matter expert, how, um, yeah, how they see you and, and if you're adding value, then they, they want to be connected with you. They want to collaborate with you. Um, so this all should really be authentic as well. So as I said before, it should really come from a natural place. Um, so really focus on things that excite you as well when it comes to making an impact. Um, but um, yeah, um, that's also really important. So um, you might want to, I guess, like, you know, when you think about, you know, what type of impact can I make? Um, it could, in the MVP program, we, we really talk about um, sort of helping others and sharing knowledge and, um, yeah, supporting a community. So impact can look very different depending on the, the gaps that you see, but also depending on your audience as well. So it's something you need to think about. So my next tip, tip number five, comes down to delivering value. And consistency, I think, is also very important. So but value and consistency. Um, you want to maintain, um, you want to continuously engage with your community or your audience um, because that's going to elevate your brand um, because when you're um, at top of mind, of, of your community and it it means that um, people can engage with you but then your community can organically grow as well as a result of that so by being um by providing value but being consistent I think that's so important um in order to sort of create that personal brand um yeah consistency is is, is really important so my sixth tip is really about identifying your contribution channels. So where is your audience? Where are they located? Um, how will you engage with them? Is it on LinkedIn? Is it on GitHub? Um, is it on a social media platform? Is it at school? Um, and I really think when you want to sort of grow your personal brand or provide content and really make an impact in the community, when you choose your channels, I really think it's important to focus on one to three channels, because if you're doing multiple different things, it could get really overwhelming. So I say be really good on one or a hand or, or a few um, key platforms, uh, because then people will know where to find you and you could really um, invest in engaging that community in a really healthy way. Okay, so actually that should be my seventh tip. <laughs> there was a typo there. Is be authentic. So I believe by being authentic and being your true self, that's what's going to really relate to other people. That, that's what people are going to relate to. And if I reflect in my fundraising days, I remember like always thinking, people don't give to a charity. They give to people. Um they're not going to donate to a charity just because they've thought about donating. They're going to donate because 
you are running in a fun run and you've asked them to make the donation and they're really drawn to your story, right? So it's the same with any community um, and any network that you're um, connecting with. It's really important to be authentic because people will relate to people. And um, yeah, so be relatable and be your true self because it really all should come from the heart. And what you do um, is in the nature of, of uh, it's the spirit of community. So um, one of my final tips is to really um, leverage your community um, through collaboration and um, lean in with them, share content, contribute to conversations, whether it's commenting on blog posts or sharing um, or liking content on social media. Um, maybe you're really inspired to mentor students or maybe um, you want to be a subject matter expert in, in something in particular. Maybe a suggestion is if you collaborate with other people within the industry, it could really kind of leverage your profile as well. Um, but also your impact can be amplified. And I think that's really cool. Collaboration is something that we all really should be doing more of because there's so much power in collaboration. So they're just some tips on how I think um, you could really grow and um, yeah, grow your, grow your personal brand. And um, I think I'm really passionate about this topic, um, personal brand, is because I see every day in my work when I work with MVPs and regional directors. And I have mentioned MVPs a few times. So I am just going to go over um, just quickly about the MVP program because I know there's a lot of um, yeah technical professionals in this community and maybe that's something that you might want to work towards one day is being seen or recognised as a, as a technical leader in your expertise. Um, so I'm not sure if if MVP program, um, if anyone's heard of it, but I do want to sort of uh, talk quickly about it. So MVPs, um, in case you're not aware, stands for Most Valuable Professionals, and it's a program that recognises exceptional community leadership. Um, so individuals that are doing really, really cool things within the community. And um, I guess I, I put two and two together, like personal brand and, and this program, because MVPs essentially um, are, you know, they're providing content uh, and contributions to the community. They do it out of their love and they do it for free um, a lot of the time or all the time. Um, they're spending hours after work or, um, yeah, they're just creating content and they do it because they're so passionate about technology. They're passionate about helping people um, and they're really passionate about the Microsoft uh, products and services and and trying to help solve problems for other people as well. Um, so um, as being recognised as technical leaders, they're essentially building their personal brand. And whether it's conscious for them or not, they, I think a lot of them are doing it really unconsciously. But um, from my perspective as a marketer, I, I really see a lot of things that they're doing to build up their, um, their community impact. It really does align with the themes of personal brand. So um, that's kind of why I wanted to talk about this today, um, because if you've got a goal to to really help people and help a community, um, there's a, a way that you could be mindful about it and have a bit of um, even some strategy around it to really make your impact um, go far. So if anyone is interested in um, in learning about the MVP program or wondering what it takes to be an MVP, um, I guess I've got these two questions. Um, think about what impact can you make in the community or in your network and think about what gaps in the community you can fill. So um, when MVPs make contributions or, or when they're um, supporting communities, every community looks so different and we never compare sort of technical leaders to other technical leaders because some people are really passionate about helping students. Others are about empowering women in tech or um, supporting Indigenous communities or 
whatever it could be, every um, everyone's community looks different. And the way that every community um, absorbs content or uh, yeah, consumes information is also very different. So if you're thinking about um, yeah, what impact you can make, um, yeah, there's some some questions for you to think about. But essentially, yeah, what gap can you fill? And what does it take to be an MVP and, and who are our MVPs? Um, so there's kind of three main dot points there, but essentially our MVPs are super passionate about technology, in particular Microsoft. And um, yeah, they're really keen to help solve problems using technology. And they're at the sort of cutting edge of, of, um, of new and exciting technologies. And they're always the first to, um, I guess, report or, or tell their community um, what's happening um, within their certain sort of tech um, area of expertise. Um, and lastly, um, community spirit is so important. And when you're building your personal brand, um, it's really important to keep an engaged and healthy community. So our MVPs are really great at doing that. Um, they're constantly engaging and interacting with their communities um, and they're, they're just really passionate about it. So um, there's sort of some, some qualities of our um, MVPs as well. And if you're thinking about maybe this is a path that you want to pursue one day or um, you want to go down, there's certain um, technology structures that you can be an expert in. Um, there's 14 there and there is a link um, on that side if you if you can click on it. But essentially, you just go to mvp.microsoft.com. Um, that's our website. And you can actually view the many different uh, categories. And then under each sort of uh, category title, there's a list of different products and services um, that your contribution areas should really align with. Um, so, um, yeah, that's just a guide there. And the website has so much information if you want to know more. And also there's um, there's actually a, a list of current MVPs on that website as well. So um, you could be inspired by what other technical leaders are doing. Um, and you could be inspired about how they're um, putting themselves out there and how their brand is is out there in the community. And it could maybe inspire you with um, with how you want to um, make an impact in your community as well. So um, I want to introduce you to Deepak, who's not on the call, um, but Deepak is my colleague. And Deepak and I both look after um, like the Southeast Asia region. Um, and in particular, Deepak does look after the Pakistan um, communities. Um, so between either of both of us, if you've got any questions, if you want to find out more about how to engage with communities. Oops. Sorry, I've just lost control of the of the presentation. Let me just let me just reset that. All right, yeah. So um yeah, so Deepak and I are more than happy to answer any of your questions in regards to MVP programs, things like that. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the slide that I was on. Okay, so you can find Deepak or myself, um, we're on LinkedIn. Um, and if you go to the MVP website, uh, there's our contact details on there as well, but my contact details are at the end of this deck as well. So we're more than happy to have a chat with you about the nomination process, how you can be, um, yeah, how you can be recognised as an MVP, and what you need to do to get there, and we're more than happy to to give you um, some tips and nurture you along the way. Okay, so I guess I just want um, just to have some takeaways um, from today. So I've given you a, a framework of some things to think about when it comes to building your brand and what you really want to achieve and where you want to be and you know, the things that you need to implement in order to get there. But I guess an immediate action that I would love for everyone to do is um, to start sort of implementing and um, uh, showcasing their personal brand. You can do 
one thing that we all have access to is LinkedIn, right? So my tip for you is to write a social media post, write a LinkedIn post. And essentially the formula for a really, really good LinkedIn post, there's these four tips. And I think it's really important every time you've learned something new or every time you've attended an event um, or yeah, you've, in, you've had a really good interaction or you might have read something and you want to share content. I think that's a really great way to start is sharing that knowledge on social media. So if you're wondering, like, I don't know what to do. How do I how do I start showcasing my personal brand? I think LinkedIn is a great, great platform. So maybe from today, uh, it doesn't have to be from this session, but, you know, any session you attend today or tomorrow, um, I suggest write three things that you learned as a result of that session. Share that on your LinkedIn post. Then what you do is you tag the speakers where you learned that from and you tag anyone that you met on that day or, or at that session as well. And by tagging people, you're essentially um, also like sharing to their network as well. Upload a photo if you can, because photos are really great, um, you know, coming up on people's news feeds and um, they really engage with the audience. And use appropriate um, hashtags where possible to sort of expand your reach that you get. And by you showcasing to other people or, or um, sharing with other people what you've learned, you're creating an impact. You're um, sharing what you've learned and your knowledge and you're passing on to the next person. And if you do that consistently, that's a really great way to, um, yeah, start building um, a community, an engaged community. And um, essentially you're adding value. And I think that's the most important thing is you're adding value to a community and you're making a positive impact. And I think that's really exciting. So another tip I can give you um, when it comes to personal branding on LinkedIn, make sure um, after you've done that post is you just quickly review your LinkedIn bio and you create a five-star LinkedIn profile, making sure you have a headshot. I think it's so important and making sure your photo is clear that you're looking at, you know, the camera when that photo is being taken. Um, and it's a, yeah, it's an easy recognizable photo of, of you. Um, make sure your bio is up to date. Um, a lot of people don't have bios. And also if you're looking for a new job, I learned that um, recruiters are also um, most likely to check you out on LinkedIn as well. But you can also, and this is, been going on for a while, but you can actually apply for direct jobs through LinkedIn too. Sometimes they don't even advertise on other platforms. It's only on LinkedIn. So if you do want to, yeah, maybe you're looking for a new job or you want to level up in your career, having um, an updated LinkedIn bio and, and profile in general is also um, a really great way to leverage your brand. Um, always make sure that you've got your certifications listed as well. Um, I think that's really important because it showcases that you're willing to, to learn or that you're constantly learning. We're all students essentially. And um, I think employers love uh, to see their, um, uh, you know, people that are, are really proactive in wanting to learn and develop themselves. So make sure you have um, your certifications updated in on LinkedIn. And any community contributions, make sure that's listed on there as well. And finally, make sure that you're actively contributing to discussion, um, you're sharing posts, you're commenting, and that's just a really simple way that you can really start um, positioning yourself in your network and building, building um, a bigger network as well. So I just wanna leave you with this quote. Um, that I really like because I think it's so important just to reflect on this, but um, this quote says, life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. And I think with personal brand, it's really cool because you are essentially the creator. And um, yeah, the world is your oyster when it comes to the goals that you have and how you get there and um, just achieving those dreams that you have, right? So personal brand can really help you open up doors that you never knew existed. Um, and if you definitely, um, or if you keep on uh, feeding 
feeding it and nurturing your personal brand, it will evolve over time. And um, yeah, who knows where it could take you. So I'm not sure if we have time for questions. Um, I know I have about five minutes until my presentation and that we have the next track. Maybe you want to break it for the next one as well. But I, I will be here um, if you do want to ask any questions. But thank you so much. Um, you're so welcome to reach out to me if you've got any questions at all. I'm more than happy to, to answer them as well. Um, whether it's now or in the future, you can connect with me. Um, I've got my LinkedIn there or my Twitter as well, or even my email address. So um, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Elizabeth. That was a quite an amazing session and it's quite unique uh, in, in this list of all the sessions we have. And that's definitely, yeah. and thanks for joining us all the way from Australia. Uh, it's, it's really good uh, and I can actually uh, relate all the, all the points which you just have made with our conversation we had yesterday in our in-person mm -hmm. event. So that's where, so we also encouraging people if they want to come forward, Pakistan user group, is the platform where we are providing you uh, a way how you can collaborate to each other. Yeah. Uh, you can come forward and uh, we can guide you through with different uh, activities, different steps, which can actually help you to make your own brand. This is really, really important. So it we can, it's not necessary for everyone to join Dynamics. You, you may join our platform. You may join an, uh, the ERP side. You may join the business side. So there mm. are so many different products in Microsoft stack. You can definitely work on. You can join. But thanks, thanks for uh, making this call today, uh, Elizabeth. We really appreciate. And on behalf of Pakistan user, we really would like to thanks for your time today, and we looking forward to having you again. No problem at all. Thank you, Faisal. And um, definitely the Pakistan user group, it's not just being online. Um, I think being offline is also really important. Um, and I know that they, they do hybrid events. Um, but yeah, there's so many different ways to connect with community and, and to really network. And essentially that's what branding is, it's networking. Um, so yeah, collaborate with your peers, and just experience new things and follow that curiosity as well. Um, yeah, so thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, with this one, I can see Gil. Uh, good afternoon, Gil. Sorry, you are on mute. Just managed to make it.